All right, let's do this. Coming at you again this year with another blockbuster cello stocking stuffer extravaganza. Let's have some fun. Welcome everyone and happy holidays. Coming to you with another edition of the Cello Stocking Stuffer Ideas, new for 2022. I'm gonna remind you about some old favorites that are still great, I'm still using in the studio all the time, that students are still using, and I have a few new ones for you this year, so make sure you stick around for those. I will have all of these items linked up in the description, so go check that out if you're interested in any of these. Uh, and also, I'll have a table of contents there if you come back to the video later. And plus a few other ideas if you're just looking for some musical gifts in general. All right. In order of, you know, like best thing to put in a stocking, uh, I would say, of course, rosin still at the top of the list because it runs out, it breaks, it gets messed up, it gets lost. Um, and it's a great, you know, you always need it. You need it every time you play, uh, regardless. So it's still a great stocking stuffer, and Andrea is still my favorite. I'm still using it, so it's still the best rosin. And one important side note, uh, something that has changed since I came to you uh, last year, is that they're making all Andrea rosin under the name of Cecilia. I don't remember quite the reason for that, but uh, it's still the same great rosin. It's just called Cecilia now. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. And I like it so much that I even have a spare, just in case something happens to this one. It's nice. I can keep one in my case and just one on the desk, but yeah. You know, if you are gonna actually put it in a stocking, as a little surprise, make sure you might want to wrap it because if the person doesn't know what it is, they accidentally drop it uh, there once they get it out of the stocking. But this is a fantastic little gift. Next on the list is the Black Hole by Dyson. Yes, still using it, still loving this thing after a decade. You can tell um, that I've had this one for quite a a while uh, it's starting to show its uh, life there it's kind of torn <laughs> whoa it's like really torn up there uh, uh, this one's newer uh, but I guess I have two of them one for me one for students here uh, in the studio they're fantastic I mean they last as you can see forever even though this one's like um, you know and of course the size perfect stocking stuffer material here. Highly recommend getting one of these for the cellist in your life. While we're talking about in pin stops, the in pin anchor, the strap, is another great option. This is the other popular choice that people use to hold their cellos. Um, I prefer the black hole or the cello point that I talk about in the other video. I'll link up the one from last year. I'm not going to talk about the cello point this time because they don't sell it and I tell you in the other video why I bring it up anyway. So you can go watch that one. But this, they're still making these of course and these are great and of course you can like, you know, wrap them up. They come on nice package again. Wonderful stocking stuffer here. Um, make sure you get the Zeros brand. This is the go-to brand uh, for the uh, the cello in pin strap thingy that this is called. Yes. Last but certainly not least from our old favorites, my Seiko metronome. Still the workhorse of the studio. This thing is on all the time. I'm probably going to invest in rechargeable battery soon because I'm burning them up all the time using this thing. It's always going in every lesson, every time I practice. Still love this thing. It's still awesome. And of course, great stocking stuffer. Everybody needs a good metronome. Uh, and this one, of course, with its wonderful cutout design is nice and loud. Can't recommend this thing more. All right, and now for a few new items that have become staples here in the studio, using them over and over again. The first one I want to tell you about is this practice timer cube. 
Uh, I picked this up at the uh, ASTA National Conference when I was there in Atlanta. This is a wonderful, wonderful practice device. I talk about it all the time in lessons, and you've heard me talk here on the channel about the importance of using a practice timer. I've even started putting videos on the channel, free videos that you can use that are specific to certain pieces, practice timers that you can use. But having one that you can use for whatever you're practicing anytime is still a great idea. And I, I love my dedicated devices. Yes, you could do this on a phone. You could set a timer. But I like having my metronome, my practice timer, my tuner, whatever, and being able to just put the phone away. Really, really important to me. This thing is great. You just flip it over um, and it starts a new time. So I flip it over to one. It'll give me one minute. I flip it over to three. It'll give me three minutes. And I can even pause it. Uh, when I flip it up, uh, flip the timer up to the ceiling. All right, so I'll do a whole video on this and I'll link that up, but you can go watch it. But this one, this one is really fantastic. And, and I, this one just has one minute, three minute, five minute, and seven minute, uh, which is plenty. You can get them in all different numbers. There's lots of choices, but I recommend this one with actually the, the, the lower numbers on it. Uh, and if you want to know why, you can watch any video uh, where I talk about the importance of practice timers. Now, the other thing that I've used a lot in the past year uh, here in the studio and in my teaching in general, both at in the classroom uh, where I teach in the middle school and here in the studio, is a practice mute. Now, the main purpose of a practice mute is, as it says, to practice. It deadens the sound of the instrument. Uh, almost completely to where you can just hear the, you know the basic pitch and hear what's going on so that you could practice you know like if you're in an apartment or in just any situation or in a hotel room uh, where you can't make sound or you can't disturb your neighbors this is the thing that you use uh, to keep the instrument really really quiet but the, the the pedagogical teaching cellistic thing that I've been using it for even more so than my own personal practice is to help students make more sound. We're still, for some of us and for some students, still kind of suffering from the Zoom effect of the pandemic, unfortunately. And in general, you know, it's hard to sometimes for students, depending on how young they are, just whatever their musical perception is, to get enough sound out of the instrument, to get the arm weight really heavy into the bow. Putting this on the instrument, then asking students to play really loud, and then having them recreate that same arm weight without the mute on helps them to start learn what the instrument is supposed to sound like. And of course, as you can see, it is perfect stocking stuffer size. Uh, this one by Artino is my favorite. It's really heavy duty. It's rubber coated. It's nice, so it won't harm uh, the instrument. You certainly don't want to drop it on your instrument, but just in case it is uh, kind of soft and padded there. Uh, really, really nice. and really 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 deadens the sound now this one is another one that I've used a lot over the last year that's that's new um, that I've been really starting to incorporate more into my use and teaching and, and playing and this is the Bluetooth pedal that I use with my iPad uh, this is the page flip brand or the dragonfly model uh, my wife uses the which one does she use I think it's the Firefly, yes, the Firefly. I'll link up both of these. Um, this Dragonfly has these extra buttons, which actually I've never actually used, but you can program them. Uh, so probably I would just go with the Firefly. It's got two pedals, plenty. And uh, so if so you know someone uh, that is using their iPad more and more for music and might be using it for performance, I actually did use this in a performance at school with the chamber group I was playing with, Came in, comes in handy. And then I also used it um, during a church performance during the holidays at Christmas. Uh, somebody, you know, gave me a piano score, which usually is a nightmare to play from because there's so many page turns and, and what do you do when you got like seven or eight pages. Um, you know, we used to use like standouts, which I still have standouts that I use. But if you're on your iPad with foot pedal, problem solved. Just load it up. You can play off as many pages as you absolutely need to. It's fantastic. I think this one probably barely qualifies size-wise as a stocking stuffer, but mm, you, can, you can make it work. You can make it work. All right, next we have the Joby selfie stick with the cell phone mount here. You know, I've 
talked about how this is a nice thing to have that you know recording yourself using your cell phone um, is a good thing I'm not gonna say that anymore it's not a good thing it is an essential thing that you use the phone that you use a mobile device to record yourself when practicing and having a good place to put the phone is really great you know the the thing that kills us in practice using all this stuff you know whether it's the practice timer or the metronome or you know recording ourselves with the phone is just the inertia of getting through setting it up but you know when you have these dedicated things that are easy to turn on easy to work with have a place to put the phone where you can record yourself it just makes it go a lot smoother which is why I recommend these things so having a place you know where you can hook up your phone and record yourself uh, and be able to see yourself hear yourself accurately of course you don't you know this is t completely optional you can throw the phone up on the stand and I hope that everybody does but hey if you're looking for a nice gift to help somebody out help out that cellist that you know get one of these they're fantastic I love this thing and if you haven't seen my video all about practicing with a cell phone why you should practice with a cell phone and how you can use this better see that video on this channel The next new one I want to tell you about, well, new to the stocking stuffer list, but not new to me. I've actually been using these since before last year, but they're not cello specific, I guess. Maybe that's why I didn't mention them last time, but I used them so much. And of course, the size and the uh, budget of them make them great stocking stuffers. These are by Nest, and I use them all the time. I use this one to keep my tapes in, you know, putting tapes on the fingerboard. Um, on the bow as a studio teacher they really help keep the tapes organized I, the, my tape used to just be a mess uh, before I got this and this one I use in my backpack that I take to work because I still use corded headphones on my laptop at school don't have wireless headphones of course there's no budget for that at school uh, so I take my wireless headphones and the Nest uh, little thingamabob here has just been indispensable. I love these. They're really durable. They last a long time. I've had these now for a couple or three years. Um, they're fantastic. What stocking stuffer video would be complete without talking about strings? Um, of course, strings qualify as a stocking stuffer size-wise. I don't know that they always qualify price-wise. Of course, it depends on what you're getting uh, depends on uh, what your your budget is, but you know, of course, a great set of strings fits right there in the stocking. Now, of course, you know I use C and G Spyrocore and Larson A and D, which can be well over three hundred dollars uh, for the set. Of course, you don't have to spend that. I will put several recommendations of strings down in the description. Or maybe it's just, you know, you want to get them a nice A string. You could certainly buy just that and put that in the stocking. Uh, but again, great stocking stuffer. And you always need them. You always need a spare, especially the A, because it loves to break um, at the most inopportune time. Uh, so, you know, even if they already have strings, uh, always good to have extras around. All right, happy holidays, everyone. Uh, if you have any questions about anything I talked about in the video here, put it in the comments. I'll be happy to answer that. And if you want to know why I use the rosin that I use, I have a whole video about why I use the Andrea Cecilia rosin, and you can watch that video right here.